Hello everyone, FSG here. Hope you're all doing well. We are back on Hutan Pantai. Today we are going to be looking at one of the slightly more advanced uses of course play and that is to put more than one vehicle on the field at once. We have got three matching class Evian combines here and we have got a nice field. Soybeans here. I picked one of the big fields because it makes more sense obviously and the bigger fields have more combines running on it but we are going to jump in and I'm going to show you how to set up a course and how to run those three combines in tandem. So first and foremost, let's jump in, let's fire one up, and let's load up our course play course. So of course, delete brings up the HUD here, um, and at the moment we don't have a course set at all. And even before that, I'm, I'm gonna use no course to get into here actually. Let's go up to this first cog at the top here, and you've gotta make sure in your user settings, which is the second tab, the expert mode is activated and the reason for that is that is where it shows up that you have got more than one vehicle to choose from if that's deactivated you won't be able to do the multiple uh, vehicle thing so do make sure that that's switched on now let's go back to the combine let's run to the field now one of the things i suggest you do to start with is fire up the combine and just roll forward slightly so you're sitting on the edge of the field like so because that basically then means it will be detected when you fire up your course. So of course we've got no course here at the moment. I'm going to click onto that. Um, and it's going to show us our course here. So we're going to go to Fieldwork Settings over and above everything else. Now you can see here we have multiple tools. Now we have got three combines. So I'm going to do one, two, three. Then we want to move down to Number of Headlands. And we're just going to do one. And the reason we're going to do one is because we've got three combines so in essence that's going to be three headlands so more than enough for trailers and other things to turn around on the headlands and even the combines to turn around on the headlands when they're doing the up and down rows everything else we're going to leave the same sharp and headlines are going to leave activated um, and field center rather than up and down we're going to go to lands and the reason for doing lands means that the uh, auger pipe for the combines is always on the outside so you don't have to drive through crop to unload your combines and once all that is done, we're going to click Generate Field Work Course. Now we're going to go back to the map here. And you can zoom in here and you can see there we've just got that one headland. Um, but these are wide lines. These look a lot wider than the six meter header for the combine. That is because it counts the three combines as one pass. And you'll see that when we go back to the combine. So there we go. Back with our combine here. You can see there's the start point over there um, offset and that's because our combine here is set as left one uh, now you can do center or you can do right one as well we are going to go for left one and we're going to select first waypoint and that's pretty much us everything good to go there the last thing we want to do before we set this combine off on its way is click down here now there's two ways you can save your course we've basically got to transfer that course we've set up to the other two combines now the quick way of doing that is just to copy and paste the course, which is using this little icon down here. So you click copy there and it says copy course, temporary course. Um, and then we can get in the other combines and paste it. Or you can save the course. So where we've got temporary course here, you can go into here, you can create a new folder, sort of field two, and then within here, you can save the course as combine times three. So there we go. So now you can see the course is named as Combine Time. So you can still copy it if you want to. So if I jump out of here and jump into one of the other combines, you can still copy that course over and it will move it. But if you want to, if you think you're going to reuse that course multiple times in the future, it might be worth saving. So you can see now here, the little icon is a clipboard uh, and a document, which is your paste symbol. So if I click on paste here you can see now it's moved to combine times three nearest waypoint left times one so we're going to move that to first waypoint and we're going to move this one to center because that one's left this one's center and this one will be right so back to our first combine we'll send this one off on its way and then we'll move the other one into position and get it started so jump into here so check everything one more time we're on first waypoint because we're at the beginning of the field uh, this is our left hand combine it's using combine times three course. I think we're good to go here. So I'm going to hit the go button. And off we go. 
things looking good there, so I will jump out. We'll jump into the second combine, get that one started. And then we'll do the third one. So once you've done this a few times, it will become quite commonplace. You'll get very used to doing this. And again, if you've saved your courses from before, it does make it very, very easy. One thing I will say, if you are going to use multiple combines, though, definitely try and use the same header width the whole time as well. That just will stop you having a whole heap of other issues. Uh, but there we go. Lined up here. Course play field work. First waypoint, center, combine times three is the course. It's going to hit the go button here and it is going to find its spot and off it goes so that is number two combine running and we'll jump out very quickly do the third one now of course we haven't added the course to this one yet so we'll go through that process one more time but we will jump into here we will paste our course now remember this one is first waypoint again because we're starting at the beginning this one is going to be our right hand combine we will roll into position now it will run over this first bit of crop because it does offset it because it's going to come round and finish this element on the way back at the end of the first headland but for now we hit go here it unfolds the combine it will roll into position header goes down and we're off, and there you go. It's telling us 37 minutes and 41 seconds for these three combines to finish their course. Now, your options are here that you can then run the grain cart, keep on top of all of these combines. Uh, alternatively, you could set up auto drive now and have three unloaders unloading the combines. I would recommend an individual trailer for each combine that seems to work best for me rather than having one tracing three combines that can cause you whole heaps of problems but in terms of your combines running there you go you are now free to do whatever you want whilst your combines cut the field and working really really well straight out of the box in the first release from fs25 of course by and uh, all looking really good so Hope that was helpful. Nice, short, sweet. I'm going to break up these course play tutorials into individual elements. I think it's a lot easier than trying to cram them all into one video because there's just too much to remember. So, and again, if you want to specifically know how to do multiple combines, uh, it makes sense to do that as one video. Now, this is for combines, of course. Exactly the same principle applies if you want to do three tractors doing, I don't know, rolling cultivating, ploughing, whatever you want to do, uh, the same principles apply. So let's very quickly do exactly the same thing with three tractors, just so you can see that as well. Right, so here we go. We have got three different tractors, just to prove that you can do it with different tractors. You don't have to have all the same tractors, but we do have the same implement for all three. Again, same principles with the combines. You want the width to be the same across the board if you want. You don't have to use the same implement. Just as long as the width is the same. So, we're going to run these over to this green field here. And we're going to set up our first course. So, vehicle unfolded. As before, I like to drop down and just pull it onto the field. So, it will detect the field when we pull up course play. But there we are. No course in our HUD. Click on no course. And you can see the white line around the field tells us that uh, the course is selected. Or the field is selected, beg your pardon. So we're going to fieldwork settings, uh, working with this 5.6 meters, we are going to use three machines, multiple tools. Um, we're only going to do the one headland again because, of course, 5.6 meters times three, that's going to be a massive headland anyway. Uh, this one we are going to leave on up and down rather than lands because we don't need to worry about an auger pipe or anything like that. So all looking good there. Generate fieldwork course. Wait a minute for it to do it. There we go. Looking pretty good to me. Back to our tractor. Let's make sure we select it. So this is left one. It's going to be our first waypoint. Uh, temporary course we will copy for our next vehicle. And we will hit go with that new Holland. Right, let's go and grab another tractor. So here we go. As we drive to the field, let's unfold it again. Um, this one, again, no course at the moment. So we're going to click our paste button here to copy the course. There we go, and you can see it's done it because the course has appeared here. You can see the start point. This one, of course, is going to be our middle. 
So let's click center. Uh, and let's do first waypoint as well. So we're all good there. And we hit go. Simple as that. It will drop into position. There is tractor two on the go. Let's go and grab tractor three. Right into the fence, tractor three. Let's unfold before we get there. Let's roll round. Again, no field showing or no course showing on the field yet. That's because we've got to hit our pace button. There we go. Showing the left one though. And we know that's the centre. So our right one here is the one we want. Make sure you do first waypoint again as well. Just to avoid any issues. And hit the go button. And there you go. We are up and running. Three cultivators doing your field. You hold it all the way up at the top. John Deere just going around the corner here. And the fence catching it up. Now, sometimes different horsepower tractors or different field speeds may mean that one tractor gets a little bit further. I think the New Holland there is definitely a little bit quicker than this John Deere. And again, the fence looks like it's catching the John Deere quick as well. So uh, do bear that in mind if you're going to use different tractors. Um, but even if they do get close, they will hold back and they will wait. So all good looking great here. So there you go. Same principles apply, whether it's combines, whether it's uh, any other type of implement. The same principles apply. But there you go. Multiple vehicles using course play in Farm Sim 25. Hope you found that useful. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you again very soon. Take care. Bye for now.